when the narcissist tries to stamp you out. When they try to put out your light. When they try to extinguish and destroy you. There are many different ways that a narcissist might take to stamp you out. They may try to hurt your family or friends. They may try to damage your property. Your car, your computer or your phone. It depends on how extreme they are. But when they do this, you need to ensure that you are documenting everything. or if you can get them on camera. That would be even more effective. If you can catch them when they're verbally assaulting you or making threats, that will help to support your case. But don't reveal anything to the narcissist. Don't tell them what you know about them. Because as long as you withhold that information from the narcissist, it gives you the advantage. So don't let them know that you know. Keep that information to yourself. Because you're not going to achieve anything by confronting them. They achieve their aims by indirect and deceitful methods. They're very deceptive. They act secretly and dishonestly to achieve an unfair advantage. They are so devious and dishonest that you may never see it coming may never expect it to happen. Which is why there's no point arguing with them. You can't just play around with them. You have to take them down before they get to you. So that it shows them that you're not going to be playing games with them. You're not going to be an easy target. Many people choose to stay involved with a narcissist and they act in a cautious and non-committal way. They avoid making a decision or expressing an opinion because they are uncertain or frightened about doing so. But doing that doesn't solve anything. It just makes them even more mad. You're just putting yourself in danger because then they're going to feel even more motivated to take you down. When you go back and forth with them, you're just giving away your power. Which is why you can't play around with them. You can't save them. You can't try to help them. You need to take away your hope that they're going to change. You cannot hold back when you are dealing with a narcissist. Your only option is to go all out to defeat them. If you have a chance to get rid of them, you cannot show them any mercy. You cannot show them any forgiveness or compassion. Because they're just going to see that as a weakness. They're going to see it as something to exploit. And then they're going to go all out to stamp you out. But sadly, this is what a lot of victims do. They give the narcissist another chance. They show them forgiveness and compassion. They let them back into their lives. But when they do that, the narcissist just takes that as an opportunity to continue where they left off. They study everything you're doing. 
even though they're not really serious about being with you. They just study all of your faults and weaknesses. They pick everything apart, then they plan their attack against you. Which is why you should never let a narcissist back into your life. You should never let them have any personal information about you, once you know what you're dealing with. You shouldn't be telling them what you're doing. You have to misdirect them. You have to mislead them just like they misled you. When you're open and honest with a narcissist, you're just giving them ammunition, which they will then use to destroy you. Because you're giving them the ability to dissect what you're doing. You're giving them the ability to analyze and examine certain information. And then they can interject and intervene to try to sabotage whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish. Which is why there's no reason for you to be honest with a narcissist. They're not deserving of your honesty. Because they do not respect it. They use it to their advantage. You cannot be warm and friendly to a narcissist. It will only make them even more mad. It will only cause them to attack you even more. We live in a world where there are not reasonable consequences for a lot of the consciously wrongful actions that people are committing. They're not being punished consequently. And without enforcement of the law or any appropriate consequences, there will be more of the same type of behavior. There will be more shocking and extreme behavior. Once you cross the narcissist, you need to accept that things will never go back to how they used to be. With normal people, things can be forgiven. You can move on and do better. But with the narcissist, nothing will ever change. Once you cross them, that's it for life. They will always hate you. They will always be your adversary. They will always be in competition with you. You will always be on guard. You will always feel like you have to defend or protect yourself. You will never be able to relax or trust them. Because if you did that, it would be a foolish and ignorant decision to make. They would only take advantage of that. If you let your guard down, they will attack you. And you will never see it coming. You will never expect it. Because even after everything they've done to you, you still don't want to believe that it's who they are. You want to believe that there must be some misunderstanding. There must be a reason why they did that. There must be something you don't know. Because you don't want to believe it. You don't want to accept the truth. Because they're pathological liars. They're very deceptive and misleading. And if you refuse to see them as they actually are, they will attack you. They will take that opportunity to put you out. If you look back at a lot of the things they've done to you already, you never thought they would do that. You never thought that they would pull you apart. But there's always that situation people experience with a narcissist. When they change suddenly, it's like out of nowhere, they're seeking vengeance. They're very angry and wanting to cause you pain and discomfort. 
they say and do things without any conscious regard for you. Through their actions, they are indirectly telling you that they don't like you. They're indirectly telling you that they can't stand you because everything they do is designed to hurt you. They will play the role as long as you're willing to believe in it. But behind the scenes, they're laughing at you. Whatever they think you think they are, they will play along with it. But really, they have no part in it. They have no interest in being with you. And when the time comes, they will reveal that to you. In their minds, they let you get away with a lot of things in the beginning. They perceive minor issues as being a big deal. They turn molehills into mountains, things that happened in the beginning. That's what they think about when they try to stamp you out. Because now they're trying to make you pay for things that you didn't even know upset them. They acted like everything was okay. But beneath the surface their blood was boiling. They were very angry. But they were intending to get revenge on you. For something they perceived as a fault that you weren't even aware of. You didn't even know. So you didn't even have the opportunity to make it right. But that's the way they wanted it to be. Because it fuels their anger. It gives them the opportunity to go after you without having to think or worry about any pain that they may cause to you. They can be more ruthless with you if they don't give you the chance to make it right. Which is why they have to make it so that you don't know what you've done wrong. So that they can play it in their minds about everything they think you've done to them and how it made them feel and then they can get you for it. They bring up things from the past that are of little importance, things that have nothing to do with you. They will bring up things that happened months ago, things that are completely irrelevant, which should give you an indication into their mind and how they are thinking. It should let you know that you are dealing with someone who is mad and crazy. It should let you know that you need to be careful of them. You could be in a dangerous situation because they're holding all of this anger for you and you don't even know it, which could put you in a lot of trouble if you're dealing with someone like that because at some point they're just going to get revenge on you. They hold on to things for a long time. And then when they come to you, it makes you so confused, which only irritates them even more because they expect you to react to it like it just happened yesterday. If you don't react the way they expect you to react to some BS that happened several months ago, then you will really make them angry and annoyed. It will just make them want to destroy you but sometimes they will act like they're mad about something when really they're not even concerned about it. They can dial up the emotions of anger and hostility to create a conflict as though they're bothered about something. They're very sick people. They will act as though something is affecting them when really it's not. They just want conflict they want to create an argument out of nothing. To pull you into the objective that they have for you.
there are certain classes of people people who lack integrity people who lack honesty and strong moral principles these types of people will be prone to exploit you they will make full use of and derive benefit from you because they don't have anything of value of their own because they see an opportunity to use you for their own personal gain thank you for watching I hope this video resonate with you please like comment share and subscribe if you would like to donate my PayPal link is in the video description coaching inquiries you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.